Welcome to another test example on quadratic relations. I hope you are enjoying my channel. Here is another test question which is going to give you good concepts. We need to understand the question, visualize the situation and then solve. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let us enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a very important application of quadratic relations. It relates with bridges and arches. The question is before you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. The question is, a concrete bridge has the form of a parabolic arc, which is 20 meter wide and 5 meter high. The minimum vertical thickness of the concrete is 2 meters. Find the equation of the parabolic arc. Find the vertical thickness of the concrete 4 meters from the center of the bridge. The diagram is given to you. The bridge is shown. And that is the concrete part. Let us try to understand the situation. The concrete bridge is in the form of a parabolic path, which is 20 meters wide. So this length here is 20 meters. Five meter high. That is 5 meters. The minimum vertical thickness of concrete is 2 meters. So this is 2 meters. Better to write like this, right? So this is 2 meters. So that is the situation. You need to find the equation of the parabolic arch and then find the vertical thickness of the concrete 4 meters from the center of the bridge. That means when you move 4 meters from the center, let's say 4 meters from here, where this is 4 meters. Find the vertical thickness, you have to find this thickness. You get the idea. So that is the question for you. I hope now from the figure it is absolutely clear. Let us see how do we solve this. So as you can see here, it is extremely important to understand the question and then begin with the solution. Now let us assume that our axis is as shown with the origin as shown here. So one of the zero for the parabola is right at the origin. The other one is 20 meters away, right? So if this is the origin O, then that point here is 20. Parabolic path can now be written in the factored form as y equals to a times x times x minus 20, correct? Since at these two points, we have the zeros. We are given one coordinate point on this path, and which is at a distance of 10 meters, that is a midway, the height is 5. So, so we know one point, 10 and 5. 
Substituting this point, we can find the value of a. So, we get 5 equals to a times x is 10 and then we have 10 minus 20. So, that is 5 is equal to minus of 10 minus 20 is minus 10. So, we get minus 100 a or we can write a as 5 over, let me write negative first, 5 over 100 or negative 1 over 20. Perfect. So, that gives us the equation of the parabola, which is y equals to minus 1 over 20 x times x minus 20. Does that make sense, right? So, that is how you can do part 1. And now, let us look into part B. So, we have the equation which is y equals to minus 1 over 20 x times x minus 20. We got it using the concept of intercepts. Since we have two intercepts, one at the 0 itself, the other one 20 meters away. And then we had a point right in the center given to us. So, at 10, the height given to us was 5. So, that gave us the equation, the value of a as minus 1 over 20. Now, in part b, we have to find the thickness of the concrete 4 meters from the center. So, if I move 4 meters from the center, then it is at which position? So, it is at 6, right? So, this point will be 6 from the origin 0. You get the idea. So, that is how we can find the height of concrete at this point. So, if I find the point on the parabola, I can subtract it from the maximum height. So, let us look into this bridge once again. We know that the thickness is 2, minimum thickness, and the maximum height of the parabola is 5. And therefore, that gives us 7 as the total thickness. From the ground, the road above is 7 meters above. You see that. So, let's find the point on the parabola, and then the difference between 7 and this point will give us the thickness. So, I hope you understand the concept. So, we are now looking at the height of arch at 6 meters from edge. So, that is y equals to minus 1 over 20, 6 times 6 minus 20. Perfect. So, you can calculate this, which is 6 times 14. Minus and minus makes it positive. Right? So, so we get a value of y as equal to. You can simplify a bit. 6 times 14 and divide by 20. So, what you get here is 4.2. So, so, we have a height at this point of 4.2 and from here, we can find the vertical thickness. Vertical thickness means this particular so, what is the vertical thickness? Vertical thickness will be, let's do it here. Seven minus four point two, right? So that is how you can get the vertical thickness, which is two point eight 
meters. You get the idea. So, basically, from the total height of 7, we'll take away 4.2, right? So, we have 7 minus 4.2 to give you this particular thickness. And that is 2.8 meters. Is this concept clear to you? That is how such questions can be solved. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You may feel free to write an email and send a request in case you want to learn more from me. Thanks for your time and all the best.